Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate eSIM on your iPhone. So let's get started. So before you can activate an eSIM on your iPhone, there are some requirements. First thing is that you need an iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, or newer. If you have anything older, eSIM is not supported. Also, you need a carrier that supports eSIM technology. Some carriers might not support that, so verify that with your carrier company by asking them if they support eSIM. And finally, if you have iPhone 14 or older, you do need to be connected to the Wi-Fi in order to activate eSIM. If you have iPhone 14 or newer, Wi-Fi is not needed. So once you have those requirements down, it's time to show you how to activate it. So in order to do that activation, you simply go into your setting and then click on cellular. And there's two different ways to activate it. First one is if you're setting it up on a device you already have, your eSIM setup or your cellular setup, you can actually bring that phone close to it to transfer over your service. So here I have a phone and all I do is just simply click on before transfer you're from nearby iPhone. If I do that, a message like this will pop up which I can hit continue and it will begin the process to basically transfer my phone service over and if I had an eSIM, it will activate the eSIM on the new phone. So that's going to be method number one. Now let's say Maybe you don't have it or this is your very first time setting up eSIM. You can also set it up with a QR code. Now you might be wondering where you get that QR code. This QR code comes from your phone carrier or the company that you're getting your phone service from. They'll give you a QR code and it's going to look something like this. They might email it to you or have it in a card. Basically you're going to see that. You're going to point your camera to it and it will automatically detect the code that it needs to basically activate it here. This is not an eSIM, so that's why it's not picking it up. And the other thing is, if for some reason your phone isn't able to pick up the QR code, you can also enter the details like these three things that your carrier can provide to you to activate it. And simply you will enter that and then hit next and it will also activate your eSIM service. And once eSIM is activated, you'll be good to go. Now, final thing is that eSIM can also be uh, something you can also convert your physical SIM from, which we'll show you in another video. If you want to check that video out, we'll be leaving the link to it on the last slide. So make sure you check that out on how to convert a physical SIM card to an eSIM card on your iPhone. And I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider hitting the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.